Good morning, Chiang Mai. Today I'm headed to a bookstore. You remember bookstores, don't you? One of the great bookstores of Chiang Mai. All used, all wonderful. We're at the Lost Bookstore. And back in the day, this place used to be a Mecca. This and a couple other places here in Chiang Mai, uh, travelers would come with their backpacks filled and when they read a book, they would uh, sell them, trade them in for the next one. And uh, man, this guy at the Lost Bookstore, he has amassed a great collection. Specifically, I'm looking for Just Kids by Patti Smith and uh, The Matrix by Lauren Groff. They're my next two book club uh, nominations, choices. Ooh, sweat is coming down my eye. I hope I can find a copy of uh, at least one of them here. Ooh. So I'll try uh, autobiographies for Patti Smith. Good. Here's the proprietor. So many books, not enough time. Tell me about it. All right, strike one. Lots of books about the Buddha in this place, that's for sure. No, no, no. So you <laughs> you have the essays. No, yeah. I have the lyric and M train. Mm. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to another good bookstore I know. Not quite the lost books, but very good bookstore. Gecko Books. High quality used books. 50 to 80% off cover prices. And a stormtrooper who reads. Love it. I've got Grisham, Grisham, Grisham. No luck. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh well, two strikes and I'm out. These are the two best bookstores that I know here in Chiang Mai. Maybe there's a, a new contender that I don't know about. But I'm not really worried. I'm going to go to Bangkok. Uh, before my flight back to Wuhan. And I know just an amazing, you know, um, Barnes and Noble style monstrosity of a new bookstore in one of the glimmering malls in Siam. And if I can't find them there, believe me, I can't find them in Asia.
จะกว่ามันจะกว่าห้อนี่นะทัวริสม์ is way down but don't get the wrong idea reason we have why we don't see too many people out here is that it's freaking 95 degrees and only idiots like me come out in the midday sun Just chill in. This is why I like coming here. It's girls like that serving the food. Very cute. All right, I'm gonna finish tonight with a little cow soy. Add some broccoli in. And uh, I guess that'll be the end of my day. All right, here it is, the cow soy. And the broccoli. Of course, the beer. I will enjoy. At lunch today, I was sitting uh, right in front of this um, young couple. Well, not couple. Young male and young female. Uh, let's uh, let's call them 22 years old. And they were doing um, right out of the Lonely Book playbook. Where are you going next? I'm thinking about Cambodia. Oh, Cambodia is great, but you've got to go to Vietnam. Vietnam, it seems a little too chaotic to me. Chaotic? Yeah, well, I was just in India, and uh, I, I, I just want to have a little more relaxing time. And, and on it went. And I don't say this in any negative way. I thought it was, I thought it was great. Uh, I don't know if I can exactly remember back to when I was 20, 22, making my first trip abroad. But uh, those conversations, even though they seem trite and tired to somebody who's been around the block, uh, I only wish, you know, you can only experience your first time once. And uh, I envy those two. So it's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna end this video. I really wanna thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please, don't forget to press the like button. Like, like, like. And uh, drop a comment below. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. Finally, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you know what to do. Subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye.